things I'd like to say about Ripley in the greater Jackson County area is the degree to which they have persevered through difficult economic times. And in essence, really, it should be a model for many small towns and medium-sized towns throughout America. What Jackson County and Ripley has endured in terms of a uh, a single industry that we were so largely dependent on, the aluminum smelting industry, has lost approximately 4,000 manufacturing jobs. That's an enormous uh, hit to an economy in any, by any stretch of any imagination, let alone a county with only 25 to 26,000 people. What I would like to say though is the degree to which this county has come together in this city and built the economy back such that in a, in a West Virginia that has a declining population, Jackson County and Ripley has grown since that point in time. We have added uh, economic activity to the area. We have replaced those jobs such that we have more um, per capita income in this county now than we did previous to uh, the plant closure. And so those are great economic statistics that point to a community that has a spirit and a um, a willingness to come together and work for the good of all people. The one thing we learned is, you know, we need a diversified economy. And if we can figure out a way to encourage our entrepreneurs through seed money, you know, uh, venture capital, uh, to bring in technology, research and development. I'm a big believer in Made in America, Made in USA and manufacturing. That's something that we definitely need to push towards. But, you know, technology and R&D, all those things are very important. And I think if we're going to have future success, not only in West Virginia, but this local region, we need to figure out how to incentivize manufacturing and technology, R&D. Um, we definitely need to turn the tide, focus on entrepreneurship, and that's what I think moves Jackson County and this region forward. Our leadership team is excited about being involved with America's Best Communities contest. Uh, we, this is a, a wonderful community that has so much opportunity. Uh, its location being right here on the Ohio River Valley uh, with the Ohio River and the rails and the interstate allows us to have easy access for visitors and for people that want to live and, and, and work here and in, in West Virginia's larger cities in Charleston and Parkersburg. But we do have some things that we want to be able to address in revitalization to make this much more attractive to people that want to come here and live and work. Uh, we need to look at our industrial parks and do more to increase utility and broadband access to those areas. To the areas where we're trying to improve housing, we need better broadband. And our downtown area um, needs to have a little bit of a shot in the arm, if you will to be able to increase um, the health and the vitality of the downtown, to increase uh, access for visitors and, and make it more attractive for our young people to want to come downtown and enjoy the activities there.